So, what's the difference between one-dimensional and two-dimensional motion? We already learned about one-dimensional, or 1D motion, also known as linear motion. If an object is in 1D motion, only the X position changes, or only the Y position changes. If this car only moves left and right, then its motion is one-dimensional in the X direction. If this ball only moves up and down, then its motion is one-dimensional in the Y direction. But if an object is in two-dimensional motion, or 2D motion, its position on the x-axis and the y-axis are changing at the same time. But 2D motion doesn't have to be a combination of horizontal and vertical motion. This boat crossing a river is an example of 2D motion on a horizontal plane. It's two-dimensional motion because its position is changing along two different axes. Even though both axes, both directions, are horizontal relative to the ground, we can still use the x-axis for the left and right direction, and the y-axis for the up and down direction from this point of view. If using the y-axis is confusing, we could use the z-axis instead. Or if we used a compass, this could be the east-west axis, and then this would be the north-south axis. The point is, if we establish two axes, like we see here, then this boat's position is changing along both axes at the same time. From this point of view, it's moving to the right, and it's moving up. In most 2D motion examples, we're going to label the axes as X and Y, regardless of the point of view. For one-dimensional motion, we use X for horizontal motion, and y for vertical motion, although the equations are the same. But if an object is in two-dimensional motion, then it has motion in the x direction and the y direction at the same time. So we need both variables and both sets of equations to describe the motion of the object. 